Hey guys, so that was just the first test run of my omnidirectional FPV rover. And if you haven't been following along, I designed and 3D printed these mechanism wheels for the omnidirectional aspect of this rover. And uh, these are just the hub motors, the brushless hub motors off of the hoverboards. And I'm just using two 5 amp hour 18 volt Makita batteries. And they just, I got these little really cool mounts here. And I have two in series, so it gives me 42 volts at full charge. And then I have the GoPro gimbal with a 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter that sends the live footage from the GoPro to this monitor oh, that I can put in a headset. And in the last video, I discussed how I wasn't quite sure how I would prefer to drive this thing. And there were two, basically two modes that I set this transmitter up for. And the first was a tank style where the right stick controls the right two motors and the left stick controls the left two. So if I want to, if I want to rotate, I have to, you know, turn the, the sticks like that. But I actually prefer the, the normal mode where this stick controls forward, reverse, left, right, and then this stick controls the, the steering. And it's cool because if I go at a diagonal, the rover actually moves in a diagonal direction. So if you're wondering, can I ride the thing? And yeah, definitely. These motors are more than capable of handling my body weight, seeing as just the two alone handled my body weight just fine when they were still in the you know, hoverboard configuration. Um, but the scary thing is the motor drivers I'm using are just kind of cheap motor drivers off of Amazon and they work great if you don't plan on riding this thing. But if you want to make something like this and you plan on riding it, you'll need something that gives you more torque at a lower RPM. So the reason this thing is scary is that it produces enough torque to carry me, but only at the higher RPM. So uh, let's just say this thing is quite the shin splitter. So I actually have been looking at Sky's Edge Near Zero Two um, motor drivers, and they have uh, very high performance at the low RPM. So I'll leave a link in the description for those. Um, they they haven't came out yet, so they should be coming out sometime this summer. Not quite sure. But I'll definitely be buying them when they come out. All right. Well, hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.